Well, let's assume, and probably it's true, that many in this audience have made movies. What's the next step? How do they get these movies shown so that they can be seen by others? You can't just do everything on the web. Well, I don't think I would be here without file sharing. You know, they call it piracy, you know. The Rupert Murdoch's of the world, the Disney's of the world, they don't want you to know that the best thing for your movies is to get people to watch them. Time is the most valuable thing. Brian Rose, if he watches Terra Firmer or Tromeo and Juliet, his time is worth much more than his money. And that little fat, sweaty kid down in the basement who's file sharing my movies, his time is worth much more than his lousy ticket because he's going to tell his little friends about trauma or his big fat friends or whatever. <laughs> he's going to tell them. <laughs> and they're going to go out and they're going to buy the DVDs. I, I, I'm still here. I know it. And I know it. And you're being hoodwinked by the MPAA, by Disney, because they want to keep everything in the private domain. Thomas Jefferson, when he created copyright law, it was not supposed to be in the hands of the corporate and bureaucratic and labor elites forever. That was not his intention. If Shakespeare had written uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet, today he'd have his rosy red ass sued off. He took an Italian play and he plagiarized it. Copyright law was supposed to be 14 years to encourage the artist, and then the public who supported it was supposed to get it. The copyright laws in this country are totally, totally perverted.